So I could be reviewing The Place Beyond the Pines today, but instead I am reviewing A Good Day to Die Hard. <sighs> so A Good Day to Die Hard, a film that makes this Die Hard 4.0 or Live Free or Die Hard make this look like a Die Hard film. I never thought I'd say that, really never thought I'd say that because I'm not a fan of Die Hard 4.0, I hate it, I do not think it's a Die Hard film, it was stupid. John McClane drives a car or a helicopter at one point <sighs> and I didn't think a film could be stupider than that. A Good Day to Die Hard, you did it. Now the story of A Good Day to Die Hard, there's, there's actually a, there's a story, there's all the others had a proper story but if I wanted to explain Die Hard 1, 2, 3 and 4 to people I could explain them properly with this. It's a stupid story, it's directed by John Moore, whatever the fuck, I can't remember his name, he directed Max Payne and that was shit. It's the only other film where he's directed Max Payne and then went on to this. Who exactly was like, ah oh, yeah, who should we should get to direct A Good Day to Die Hard or Die Hard 5? Um, guy that directed Max Payne, that was, that's just a stupid, stupid idea because that guy thinks that shaky, shaky shots, like, like the camera is just like, whoa, let's shake it, shake it. In action scenes, it looks good. Shaky scenes do not look good, they look stupid. It's like the camera was shaking, car driving. I couldn't even see what was going on. I felt sick on those parts. The camera was just shaking all over the place. John McClane, to me, is not John McClane if he has no hair. Now if you look at Die Hard 1, 2 and 3, John McClane has hair. He has a little bit of hair. In number 3, he doesn't have as much hair. But as a character, I just think... John McClane works when he has hair in the number four he lost his hair and in number four he wasn't really John McClane to me he was just Bruce Willis playing Bruce Willis. Now I watched through all of these the other day before going to see Die Hard 5 A Good Day to Die Hard and this has one, two, three and four in it. I feel that Die Hard 3, Die Hard with a Vengeance is a film that is overlooked and now in number five <sighs> John McCain is not really his self, he's not just an own character. Number three, yes, Samuel Jackson helped him a little bit, but I feel st still felt like he was just his own character, he still had his own things to do in this. He just feels like he's back up for his son Jack McCain, the storyline is just stupid. I've gone completely off subject, I was meant to be explaining the storyline to you. The storyline is how John McCain finds out that his son is in Russia, he's going to go and hunt him down, but then he finds out that Jack McCain is actually a spy, he's working for the CIA and he's trying to stop these terrorists who are trying to get nuked nuclear weapons is gonna stop them from getting all these nuclear weapons and John McClane's just gonna mess it all up apparently and Jack McClane keeps calling him John, doesn't call him dad. This film tried to be funny and just hearing John McClane all the time keep saying I'm on vacation, oh, it just got so, so annoying after a while with it. It was just not funny. Like every single scene where John McClane is doing something big, he just keeps going I'm on vacation. This has ruined the franchise completely. I hated number four and I thought that ruined the franchise. I thought maybe with this they would have picked up, made it a bit better, they would have learned from their problems with number four, but they didn't. They just tried to make it like a full-on action shitty film with slow motion things and a really stupid scene where a car flips eight times and then John McClane gets out, no scratches on me, also jumps through a window at one point, no scratches on him. It was stupid, the script is horrible, it's a horrible film, the effects are like bad and everything. And we got this as a 12A in the UK. In America it's a rated R and rated R means like you have to be uh, an adult that's like 18, like rated R or like you get NC-17 then rated R is above. In the UK 12A, the description of 12A is children under 12 must be omitted with an adult to see this so a kid under 12 could still see this film. Yeah like a nine year old can still see this film. Yeah some little headshot parts and that but it's not as violent as Die Hard, Die Hard 2 and Die Hard 3, it's just terrible. Die Hard, A Good Day to Die Hard, Die Hard 5 is just gonna get a 4 out of 10 from me. John McCain doesn't even have a fight scene which is terrible, I haven't tried to ruin this for you or anything but the terrorist or whatever the villains are were crap. It's just a horrible crap film and the Die Hard franchise should just end now because they've done everything they've done. Die Hard 1 with the building, Die Hard 2 with the airport, Die Hard 3 in New York, Die Hard 4 with Los Angeles, and Die Hard 5 is Russia. So what else can they do? Some people have been saying that they think they should do Die Hard 6 to wrap around things, but I don't even know what they do. I feel if they were going to do another one, maybe just try and do something like Die Hard 1 did, but a bit different, but at this point just 
give up the franchise. There is so much wrong with this film, I have not explained it all. If you go and look at Christopher Stuckman's channel, go and watch his video. What is wrong with like a good day to die hard, go and watch that and he will explain it a lot better than me. This film is terrible. Don't go and see it. Go and see something a lot better. So that is all for now. I have a lot of reviews coming up this week, so keep a lookout for them. And if you have seen A Good Day to Die Hard, say in the comments down below if you liked it, if you hated it. What did you think of it? What do you think was wrong with it or anything? Just say what you want to say about A Good Day to Die Hard. That is all for now. Thank you very much. Don't go see this film. That's what I have to say. Go and see something better. That's all. Thank you. Goodbye.